Yeah. And if you're trying to travel up into St. Louis, even Chicago, or into Ohio later today, there's going to be some trouble getting there because this is a storm that has quite the punch. You can see it's still snowing in St. Louis, and now it's starting to reach in Columbus and to Chicago as well. The heavier snow has been going on over Kansas and over central Missouri. Columbia had 14 inches of snow reported there, and St. Louis, eight inches of snow so far, with snow still going on. Now, this is the same storm that gave us rain yesterday, and we want that rain just leave through the overnight hours. And we had some clearing in the morning, but notice these clouds coming back in. We'll zoom in a little bit closer. That cloud line just now entering to Fort Worth and Dallas. We look up into Denton, and you can see the clouds in place, 45 degrees there with a feel like temperature of 38. So there's a reminder that, yeah, it is still winter out there. This cold front came through, and temperatures were in the 50s in the middle of the night, but they've been dropping since. Now they recovered a little bit, but now with this north wind and cloud cover, it will stay in the 40s. 40s the rest of the day, and these feel like temperatures right now will be in the 30s. It'll probably feel like that the rest of the day as well because of these strong north winds will be going on until we get into the evening hours. So we got these temperatures in the 40s and pretty much holding. I mean, the high will be reached somewhere between 1 2 o'clock, and it'll probably start to drop before the sun gets below the horizon. These northwest winds 15 to 20 with a high of 49 degrees. Future sky forecast we go. There's the cloud cover around, and it starts to break up in our western counties. And down in the southwest, really, the clouds just never really come back from uh, clearing in the overnight hours. But it looks like tomorrow we're going to have mostly clear skies. Temperatures will be into the mid 30s. The only reason we'll stay above freezing tomorrow morning is because the winds will be strong overnight. And that keeps the temperatures from getting too cold, actually. But 45 is the high, well, mid 40s somewhere. Uh, it is just going to be cold everywhere across North Texas for Sunday with the sunshine not really helping that much. Now, Monday. Monday will start temperatures near freezing, but we'll have another cold day on Monday as well. But here's tomorrow's forecast. So it's cold this afternoon, winter coat needed. And you'll need that winter coat all day tomorrow with temperatures in the 40s. But don't worry, it's not going to stick around. This is a shot of winter, at least this one not sticking around either as temperatures will be climbing up to the 50s by Tuesday. And believe it or not, we'll probably hit 70 degrees by Thursday and Friday before another shot of really cold air comes in. You see these temperatures climbing up, but I tell you, next weekend looks even colder. Well, I'd say, Jen, colder than anything we've seen so far this winter. All right.